How's it going everybody? Thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome to this conspiracy theory edition of SPTV. My name is Adrian Espino and today we're going to be talking about aliens, aliens and, and UFOs. UFOs. We all know that there have been thousands of sightings reported of UFOs flying in our skies. For those of you that are unaware, last week a Navy spokesperson came out and confirmed that the objects seen in three declassified military clips of footage are indeed unidentified aerial phenomena. Or they could have just called them UFOs like everybody else. For those of you that have not seen these clips of footage, I'm going to go ahead and put these up on your screen right now. Warning, the clips that you are about to see are truly compelling. <laughs> Now whether you believe or not, these videos definitely raise a lot of questions. And the fact that the military is saying that they don't know what they are seeing should cause us to also question what's out there. Now you can't have UFO conspiracies without mentioning aliens. In 2018, a poll was conducted by The Economist and it found that 35% of American adults believe that aliens have landed on Earth. So let's take a quick look at where the idea of aliens and UFOs originated from. Back in July of 1947, there were reports that a flying object crash landed in a field in Roswell, New Mexico. As if finding these remains in your field wasn't interesting enough, things got a whole heck of a lot more interesting when the Roswell Army Airfield was called about this discovery. They picked up these remains and later reported that they found what appeared to be a flying disc. But later they released a second report saying that what they found was actually a weather balloon. Now to be fair, the weather balloon explanation actually has some legitimacy to it. At the time, the US Army believed that if they sent microphones up into a particular part of Earth's atmosphere, they would be able to eavesdrop on nuclear testing as far away as the Soviet Union. So they sent neoprene balloons, radar reflectors, and sonic equipment up into the air. This was highly classified, which would explain why the Roswell Army Airfield did not know this existed. But by the time the US military revealed in 1994 that this was indeed a top secret project, it was too late to stop any conspiracy theories. Now within this conspiracy theory, there's actually another one that says aliens actually visited us thousands of years ago. The ancient alien conspiracy theory claims that there is evidence on the hieroglyphics of ancient civilizations. I'm going to show you guys some examples right now. Now 
how this conspiracy theory actually branches off. But the common beliefs among the people that support this conspiracy theory are that these ancient aliens are actually the gods that a lot of these ancient civilizations talk about. It is also believed that these ancient aliens actually created humans. And not only that, but they assisted in the creation of monolithic structures by giving humans the technology they needed to do so. I don't know about you guys, but have you ever wondered how humans could have created such enormous structures with primitive technology or methods? Now this theory definitely raises a lot of questions and add on to this never ending story. Now, one of the places that has grown synonymous with the idea that aliens and UFOs exist is Area 51. Now, Area 51 has gained a lot of news coverage recently, mainly due to the storming Area 51 raid that was posted on Facebook. Now, it's actually pretty incredible that people actually showed up to this thing, and I very much applaud them for trying to save the aliens. But in all seriousness, there is a lot of secrecy that blankets Area 51. Back in July of 1955, the CIA was looking for a new test site where they could develop and train pilots on new high altitude reconnaissance airplanes. The CIA decided that a location in Southern Nevada would be the perfect place to do so. Now, a lot of the things that the government was working on in this location were top secret. So this called for guards patrolling the perimeter, restricted public access, and not even being able to fly above this location. This begged the question, what is the government hiding? Well, in 1989, Bob Lazar, a former employee who claims to have worked in the S-4 section of Area 51, exposed some incredible details of the top secret base. He claims to have worked on attempting to reverse engineer alien spacecraft. He recounts being shown what he thought was a new top secret American aircraft stored in a hangar. He later realized that this aircraft was actually of extraterrestrial origin. He was charged with the job of figuring out how this technology worked. He has claimed to have seen alien spacecraft, claims to know that the way that this aircraft flies is via a reactor that utilizes element 115, which generates a gravity wave, essentially anti-gravity, and this is what pushes the disc up. He even discusses about actually being granted permission to enter a UFO, and some of the things he describes are unbelievable. Quote, I did get a chance to look inside the craft on only one occasion, and this was important because where the reactor sat might have been critical to how it operated, since everything operates without any interconnections. He goes on to describe the look as everything being, quote, a dark pewter color, and there are no right angles anywhere. Everything looks like it was fused together. There was almost nothing that looked recognizable. Now, I'm not saying that everything that Bob Lazar is claiming is true, or that we can even take it as evidence, but you couple his claims with the fact that the Navy is seeing things in the skies that they can't even explain, one can only wonder what is really out there. I know you guys are aware that not only do people report seeing UFOs, or even seeing aliens, but they also report being abducted. Now, I know that some of these abduction stories sound utterly ridiculous, but I kid you not, as I sit here reading through some of these, trying to find one to tell you guys, cannot, cannot help, help but to get, get this, this eerie, eerie feeling that just comes over, over me. Even though, like I said, some of this stuff does sound ridiculous, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this has been far enough for me. But before I go, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. I very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications, guys. Now, real quick, before this video ends, I'm going to play you one more clip that I want you guys to watch. This is just food for thought. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.